Hello everyone, hello, hello, it's Marky. Welcome to the next drive. We are driving from Polynesian Isle all the way to Walt Disney World. We're on Highway 192. Very famous strip of highway here for the tourists who come to Central Florida. And we're right by Orange World right there and the Waffle House on Highway 192. And we're gonna go from here all the way to Walt Disney World. Today with me, I got my co-host, Eva. Hello guys, also known as Speedy Gonzalez. <laughs> Eva, known as Eva Loves Disney on YouTube. Check out her YouTube channel. And she says she's Speedy Gonzalez as well. <laughs> she likes to drive fast. I gotta slow her down. Um, so, welcome to the drive guys. We're heading down Highway 192. And we're about to approach uh, mile marker 10. Coming up, you're gonna see, let me move the uh, camera a little bit so you can see on the left side, Old Town, my Old Town USA is coming up. We're gonna keep going straight. We're not gonna turn on International Drive, which you could go to Disney like that, but we're gonna go in through gates that we never go in through. The ones that are on World Drive, the ones that you would probably use if you were living in Celebration, Florida. And we can access that through 192. So we're on Highway 192 heading that way. There's one of the famous McDonald's that's right next to the Holiday Inn and Motel 6 right here on the right. This one gets really, really packed. Huge lines at the drive through because you know, all the tourists come here at night for dinner. And it's the only one that stays open really late. So everybody heads there after the parks when they're hungry. Yeah, that's true. So here we are at Cerro Lago and Highway 192. We're gonna have to wait a little bit here as the light caught us, got the signal. For those of you that like to travel with pets, the Cerro Lago Hotel is one of the hotels in the area that does allow you to bring pets. That's cool, so you can bring your, your cats, your doggies, and whatever. I guess you can bring a lizard, <laughs> a lizard. Or bird, I don't know. <laughs> a pet, yeah. <laughs> Everything's allowed, I don't know. We do have some cloud coverage. We did have a, a couple of uh, raindrops fall already over here in Kissimmee. We're in Kissimmee, Florida right now. And uh, it might rain when we get to Walt Disney World. Let's see, let's see what happens. They're saying it might clear out. There's a percentage that there might be some rain. So on the left, you can see a little bit of the Ferris wheel and uh, the slingshot tower there at my old town, USA. On the right, you see the new guitar that was placed here not long ago, Senor Tacos. And uh, we're passing my old town, USA. Mo mile marker nine for my old town, USA. They got a new Shoney's that opened up recently, right there at the Old Town. Celebration Suites are here. A lot of you have stayed at Celebration Suites, right next to my Old Town USA. And across we have the food trucks, which always are always set up there, right next, to, right next to Machine Gun America. Yeah, they do get busy. Right now it's not looking too bad. Looks like you got five food trucks, six food trucks, I think, right next to the Elvis and the Marilyn Monroe store, which is right there next to them. The, the bus stop right here is called the Old Town Station. If you're on the bus, and there is a gift shop, a Disney gift shop coming up on the left. Now we're gonna pass this street, which is, called, which is called Holiday, right at the corner where the Denny's is and the Super 8. We're gonna keep going straight. We're not gonna stop at the, uh, we're not gonna turn here. You can usually for us, it's convenient to turn here, just head to International Drive. If we're going to Hollywood Studios or something like that, or Disney Springs or, or any of the, resort, the resorts that connect to the Skyliner. But we're going to, to the parks, to the other parks, so we can uh, go straight and grab. Three miles, traffic light, camera ahead. <laughs> <laughs> the computer's talking to us. All right, this is the, the signal right here coming up, the entrance to Celebration, the town that was built by Walt Disney World or the Disney Company. 
and there's their water tower on the left that says celebration on it I don't know if I let me see if I can turn the camera a little bit and I don't think I caught it but you get the idea it's right there and we're right next to the Golden Corral Camden Town Square is here and uh, this one this train this uh, bus station is called the Bonnet Creek Station Here's the gift outlet where they have those $1.99 mugs, $1.99 and cheap Disney t-shirts. There's also a uh, Nike factory outlet right here. There's a bunch of outlets here next to Vacation Village, which is pretty popular. Mile marker eight. Here's another, a second entrance uh, to Celebration. This is where the Celebration Hospital is located. And uh, it gives you access to all of Celebration. The Parkway is on the right, another resort. And we're at the corner of 192, Highway 192 and Parkway Boulevard right now. Celebration Place would be to the left and it's the same road, they just change names as you pass over 192, it turns into Celebration Place. And again, we got caught by the red light. <laughs> Here comes the bus, number 56, the Lynx, turning into Celebration. And those are the city buses here in Kissimmee, the Lynx. I think they're called the same thing in Orlando. And on the left, you can see the Melia Orlando Suite Hotel. I did a blog there uh, back in about, I don't know, October, I think, um, when I participated in a fundraiser for give the the children the world or give the world I don't give know, the kids the world give the kids the world foundation uh, charity foundation and uh, we painted and raised money for a great cause and it was there at Melia Orlando Suite Hotel on the left very nice hotels beautiful all right here we go this is I-4 We're going to keep straight. The signs were straight ahead for Walt Disney World, so we're not getting on I-4, guys. We're going to stay straight ahead. Yeah, we're looking for World Drive. So we're going to pass, pass this uh, ramp here. We're not going to get on I-4, which is usually a parking lot heading into Orlando. <laughs> this one's for Tampa. This one will turn over and go left, so we're going to go under this ramp right now. Heading towards Tampa. That ramp is way up there in the sky. Wow. It's a tall one. And this is the way you go if you're heading towards uh, Davenport or uh, Four Corners. Magic Kingdom, exit only to the right. Oh, you do have access to Hollywood Studios here. Wide World of Sports as well, which is right next to Hollywood Studios. And we're heading west on 192. So this, if you if you keep going straight on 192, you also can, uh, you get to Claremont. Claremont, and it's a good way to grab 27 highway 27 to head to Leesburg as well all right so we're going to the right we're heading to the right on this ramp on to world drive and there's a lot of traffic heading towards Claremont and Davenport some of that traffic might be going down to Champions Gate Okay, if you're going to Hollywood Studios or Animal Kingdom, Wide World of Sports, you will stay on the right. Two lanes will turn here. Magic Kingdom and Epcot, Disney Springs, straight ahead. This ramp will put us onto World Drive. And 
there are the gates. We never go through these gates. We use the ones that uh, are on Osceola Parkway usually. Wow, so beautiful. Donald Duck all the way on the right. Welcome to Disney World, everybody. Walt Disney World. Okay, we're in. We're on property. Straight ahead, you can see the new Swan Reserve building on the left of that tower that looks like a triangle, which is the Swan. The new resort is called the Swan Reserve, the new resort. It's a brand new building. And it's right next to a mini golf course. You can see the Tower of Terror or the Hollywood Hotel all the way on the right. And we're coming up to the um, to the entrance from the ramp that we usually come off of when we when we come by the other gate, the other Walt Disney World entrance, which is on Osceola Parkway. And there's Hollywood Studios on the right. I can see Galaxy's Edge from here. Coming up, the Tower of Terror billboard on the left there in the median. You can see the billboard with the elevator has not been moving, has not been operating. Not on the right, but here on the billboard. That usually moves up and down. It's been stationary for a while. If you were staying at any of the Epcot resorts, this is where you would get off on this exit. You can also take you to Disney Springs and you can also enter, go back to Hollywood Studios or Animal Kingdom. You can connect back to those if you pass them. There's the uh, the new reserve. Oh wow, it looks so beautiful. Uh, the Swan Reserve. It looks awesome. Here comes a, looks like a Minnie Mouse bus on the left. I can see the dolphins already from the Dolphin Resort, but you guys probably can't see it. It's all the way on the right there behind the trees. And we're just around the corner from Epcot, which is where we're headed today. I forgot to say, I'm saying Walt Disney World, but we're heading to Epcot inside Walt Disney World. And today is June 15. I'm recording this June 15, 2022. And it is a hot day here, but with the rain that we just had, it cooled down a little bit to 87, <laughs> 87 degrees, but it feels really warm because the humidity has been pretty high the last couple of days. Now, last time we came, we got lucky and saw the monorail. We went right under the monorail, but it doesn't look like the monorail is approaching right now. I don't see it anywhere. Will it surprise us and pop out from behind those trees? Will it? Will it? No monorail, but there's the monorail beam. <laughs> Gotta love the monorail beam. Because we love the monorail. And there's the Epcot entrance. I can see it up ahead. We're almost there, guys. Almost there. It feels longer when we go this way. Which is funny. I think it's just that we get more, uh, more stops. We gotta make more stops. It's very similar to the way we come from uh, no, Asiola Parkway from Kissimmee, but Highway 192 is one of the roads we use the most as we live in Kissimmee, right close to 192. And I can see Spaceship Earth already. So Epcot closes tonight at 9 p.m. It's 7, 16 p.m. right now. So they will not be charging parking at this time. I don't believe they'll charge parking. Yeah, there's no one here charging parking. It says, please proceed to the parking lot. So we are in the Epcot theme park. There goes one of the buses leaving the park. That's the ramp we'll be using tonight as we head out. We're going right under it right now. And you're going to see Spaceship Earth in a few seconds as we turn right to enter the parking 
area. Hopefully, at this time, a lot of people have left and we might be able to, even though the parking looks full, we'll be able to go all the way to the front because the ones who have been here all day, a lot of them leave, they're tired, and they leave us a few spaces <laughs> for us who arrive late in the day. And there it is, guys. Ta-da! Spaceship Earth. Isn't that a beauty? <laughs> and the cool thing, if you haven't seen it, they added lights to it. Every little intersection of those little panels up there on that Spaceship Earth, they have LED lights that change colors and they create patterns, they create all kinds of uh, designs. Pretty, pretty cool to see that. Really awesome. Some of, the, some of it is synchronized to music. It's just amazing. All right, so we're here in the parking lot. And there's a lot of spaces available. We probably could have gone closer, but just in case, Eva turned here. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the drive. We're gonna have a good time here at Epcot tonight. If you wanna check one of those videos out when we're hanging out at the parks, check out my channel. We're gonna be live tonight here. And uh, I do a lot of live streams from Disney, but if you just love the driving videos, I have a whole playlist of all my drives. So if you wanna check out some more driving videos, check out my playlist. Uh, you wanna say something, baby? Thanks for watching. <laughs> Eva says, thanks for watching. And I thank you too, guys. Thanks so much. I'll see you in the next drive.